Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I am checking out the new and improved Almay Ageless Smart Shade Foundation with Skin Tone Matching Technology. Retails for $12.99 for one ounce or 30 milliliters of product. Cozy up, settle in, grab a drink. This description is about six novels long. I'm exaggerating, but Almay's new and improved hypoallergenic smart shade foundation delivers your perfect shade match while encouraging you to embrace your skin no matter your age. The lightweight medium coverage natural finish liquid foundation starts out white like its predecessor and transforms to your ideal shade as you blend. The formula now has a skin reviving complex made up of a team of skin caring ingredients that work to replenish smooth and protect skin. Niacinamide it helps even skin tone and reduce the appearance of discoloration. Hyaluronic acid hydrates and plumps the look of skin. Electrolytes contribute to well-balanced skin and help retain its moisture. Vitamins C and E protect against environmental aggressors. The rest is blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to skip that. There is some post-consumer recycled material in the packaging. So that is lovely. Comes in nine different shades. I got the second lightest shade, 100 Light. Let's take a look at this one, swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Almay, the Ageless Smart Shade Foundation in shade 100 Light. Second is from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last up got from Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 48-year-old face. I have not primed today. Usually these skin matching types of products, I just use my fingertips. This doesn't have a pull-off little uh, protector thingy. Odd. Well, I guess there's a, there's like a stick in there that sticks into the hole. Ugh, drugstore makeup that's out for people to touch. I would still rather have that little protector tab on there. There's no product showing that has been out of this, but like this wasn't even wrapped or any, like there was no sticker to hold the, that's a little hmm, concerning. Uh, a tangent, sorry. Distraction, distraction. That, that irked me a little bit. Like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's, let's check this one out. Well, actually, let me put it on my palette and then you can see the consistency. So creepy that it starts out white. It's so strange. All right, here we go, here we go. I will do half and half face and we'll see how this ends up. Now, I'm so curious how the technology works. Like what is the matching? What is it doing? Like, how does it know? The problem with these types of products on me, they tend to turn orange. And this one is a little, a little orangey. It's a little on the orange side, just comparing shade here. Get the nose. That usually ends up being my issue is that the color match is never pale enough. I did not get the lightest shade though, because I'm hoping I can wear this for summertime. When I have a smidgen of color, the lightest shade did look a bit too pale. So there is one pass with fingertips. I'd call it pretty sheer. I mean, I can still see all my sunspots. These are my two bad boys right now. The darkest of them. It is nicely blurring though in terms of pores and texture let's let's take I might need a little bit more product but let's start with what I got here you can see the color shift happening you see how dark it gets like like where in my face are you picking up that level of darkness it's just not it's just not there y'all it's just not there I don't have darkness like ever, <laughs> even when I self tan, like I can't get dark, it's impossible. My skin doesn't do it. 
All right, that was all of that product, which I think is enough for a light coverage approach. The other thing, be careful with these color changing things because if you get them in your hairline and you don't blend them out, you're gonna get a really dark line. <laughs> I don't know why around the hairline it ends up getting darker and darker and darker and darker. But just be careful around your brows and around your sideburns, you know, you know. I think since they say you can build it up to medium coverage, I, I'm not going to try to get that high. But I do want to just see if I can get a little more coverage on my sunspots. And you know, of course, next I'm going to go for a little more coverage on my blue blood vessel. Now, the unfortunate thing is where I applied that second coat just now, it just kind of looks darker than the rest of the skin around it. I don't know if that's because if it's detecting the previous layer of foundation as a shade on my skin or what. But yeah, I would not go too I would not go two layers just for this color issue. If you're going to do two layers, make sure you do two layers on your entire face, which means I am going to double up a little bit just to make myself match. <laughs> just to attempt to make myself match. Wow, I look like I've just put bronzer all over my whole forehead. Ah, <laughs> oh, we'll just be a little sun kissed today. Oh, it's doing that thing on my eyebrow. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ziva, get down, please. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's try and get it to not do that. This is why I don't use a lot of Elmi products. This one, has never really worked for me. And it seems like it still does not. All right, I'm not going to attempt to build up any other evenness. We're just gonna be uneven today. It's gonna be okay. We're, we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Once I get some, some product in my brows, hopefully we won't be able to see that they're darker underneath because the skin under my brow hair is like the foundation that got there is turning really orange and dark. So hopefully we're gonna be able to disguise that. Let's check the time. It is 12.52. Let me go put the rest of, oh, I forgot to zoom in. I forgot to zoom in and have you guys take a look. Let's, let's zoom in and get a look. Almost forgot, almost forgot. I do think this has some very nice uh, blurring properties to it. That part I'm enjoying. The, Coverage is, I would call it, sheer to light. I still have redness coming through on my chin and on my nose. I can still see all of my sunspots, even in the area where I attempted to build it up. It's clinging just the tiniest bit to dry skin. I've got a little dry skin on my upper lip and a little bit in between my eyebrows. Um, it It is really getting dark along my my hairline on my forehead along my hairline of my eyebrows, along my sideburns. So be very, 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 very careful about blending out the areas along any kind of hairlines on your face because that is a an issue with these color changing products, at least on me. So nothing settling into lines as of this point. Nothing is settling into pores though, my nose is like almost having that issue in a couple of spots. We'll see. We'll see how it warms up and settles down and, and all that jazz. So, all right, now that we got that 12.54, let me go put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the All May Ageless Foundation. Uh, I'm also testing the All May Ageless Concealer today and they don't play super nice with each other. When I applied the concealer, you know, it, it just kind of, the seam, the overlap between them wasn't super great, which surprises me because their product descriptions are almost identical, so the ingredients seem quite similar. The other thing that's happening with the foundation is that it's kind of just, I don't know if it's moving or disappearing, but like my hairline, for example, there's like spots of just bare skin where I know you saw me making sure the product was all up there and even and not 
bunched up there. It is doing that on my chin and my nose has gotten kind of cakey and it's kind of cakey alongside my nose where I initially thought it looked pretty smooth. Now the product is kind of cakey on the skin like sitting on top and so we're not off to the best start. I think it has gotten a little bit darker because there's my chest color and and you know you can kind of see where I stopped bringing it down my face right there. <laughs> now ignore this, I have some discoloration on my skin right here, but here's the, the product line where it just gets darker over time, which is what this tends to do on me. I was hoping that the reformulation was going to perform better on me, but so far it's about the same as previous versions of this stuff. So I'm gonna wear it. I'm glad I don't go into work today, but I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna go get my sandwich, gonna go run some errands, gonna go do some things. Then I will come back. Uh, the rest of my face, Physician's Formula. This is the, mm, what does it say? Matte Minoy Butter Blush. Uh, the scent is so strong. I really don't like that about this. Heat Wave Bronzer, No Shock Flower Beauty. I did not do any highlighter today. My eyes just dropped from Alter Ego, a dupe for the ABH Nouveau palette. This is the Midsummer palette from Alter Ego. I did film this eye look. I'm also wearing on top of that the Pro Fusion Bling It On. It's a glitter liner that I've been wearing as like an eyeshadow topper. They are so pretty. This one is pink. Rhodonite, I think, is the name of the stone that they named this one after. So pretty. I'm very much digging these Bling It Ons. I'm probably going to have to stop at my CVS and pick up a couple more of the shades. And my lip is the Merit Shade Slick in Mapleton. I love these lip oils. And my brows and mascara are lawless. The one and done. Loving this mascara. All right, sorry about that noise. I was just trying to put it away where it belongs, I'm trying to be more organized and not let my vanity get into hot mess territory. It's a little bit of a hot mess right now. I'm gonna tidy up, I'm gonna tidy it up, I promise I'm gonna tidy it up before I get a sandwich, before I get a sandwich. I love sandwiches. All right, I'm gonna go about my day, go do my errands, go do some things, I will come back with a daylight check-in so we can see if this shade has changed at all. We'll see what it looks like out in daylight. It's a beautiful day outside and then I'll come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, it is about five o'clock right now and here is where we are at. Definitely a bit dark. I'm just looking at how pale my ears look <laughs> compared to my face. <laughs> and you can, of course, see my neck as well. It's just not my favorite. It's just a little, little heavy, a little bunching up in spots. And we're only four hours in, you know. Let's see if I can. I'm barefoot, so I'm going to probably... Ouch, 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 my feet, ouch. I have very sensitive feet. Here's the full sunlight view. I always wear shoes or slippers. I am almost never barefoot, but why did I come outside barefoot? I don't know. Didn't feel like getting my shoes. There we are. Oh, that's bright. I'm not gonna step back into the shade. It'll hurt my feet. All right, I'll be back tonight. We'll wrap this one up. 10.53 p.m. Let's take a look at how the Almay Ageless Foundation held up. We knew going into this that it wasn't my favorite. Let's just zoom in and see what we're dealing with. Um, I've lost coverage on my chin and around my mouth. There's pretty much no product left except what's clinging to the little flakes on my upper lip. It's kind of cakey on my nose. It's just kind of sitting on top of the skin. My blush has gone oddly patchy, so I don't feel like it served as a base very well because if, if it did, at least my blush would have stayed put, and I don't think it really did. I mean, 
it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not settling into lines. It doesn't feel drying. It doesn't feel hydrating, but it doesn't feel drying. It's not uncomfortable. It's just, I don't really like how it looks. I don't like, the shades just never quite work for me, and that did not get any better with this reformulation. If I had to give a grade to the Alame Ageless Foundation, I'm gonna go C-. minus. I'm sure it works for some people. It's not the worst thing I've ever worn. I'm just not gonna be reaching for it. Uh, can't win them all, right? And we've we've had some good ones lately, so I can't be mad. There you have it, another episode of Foundation Fest is in the books. If you like foundation reviews, if you had fun with this one, give me a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments, what should I try? Foundations, concealers, eyeshadows, you name it. What skincare? What do you want to see? What do you want to see on this mug? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. Thank you.